it's the Lakers and the Cavaliers as we welcome you to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm, snowy Cleveland, Ohio, as Kobe Bryant will play in the Quicken Loans Arena for the final time. And just a couple of minutes ago, Bryant was introduced to the sellout crowd. off for Cleveland every game very important forget about the emotion they need one more victory before the all-star break because Bryant knocks down his first shot and you, you hear the cheers when he scores on the road it really is in many ways like a game of the Staples Center there's a nice outlet pass James gets it and lays it in Kevin Love as good as anybody in the NBA at throwing those quick long outlet passes Love's going to try again. As you said, Mark, no hesitation. He missed a few, but knocks that one down. It's who he is. That's why they got him in. This is the Kevin Love we've seen in Minnesota. The ability to knock down the long ball, rebound, and make plays. Bryant's turnaround rolls in and out. James drives down a lane. Easy. No resistance whatsoever. LeBron James already with four points, four assists. Great execution. LeBron, another easy field goal. J.R. Smith knocks down another three. And the lead is 23-10. James, James having a nice roll around start. Eight points, five assists, couple of rebounds. Bryant fires and gets the bounce. And a smile as he goes up the floor. He is taking a lot of threes. 43% of his shots this year are from three-point range. James pulls back. Steps back just inside the arc, knocks down the jumper. Kyrie Irving misses the jumper. Kobe Bryant comes the other way. It's Bryant, Clarkson, Bass, Randall, and Russell. Russell knocking down some threes. That's his third three-pointer. Bryant. Hard screen set by Randall. This fires Love. Again, what an outlet pass down to James at the other baseline. It looks so effortless, he just snaps that pass the length of the floor. Hearing Kobe, Kobe chance in all these arenas where for many years he was hated. Respected but hated as Kyrie Irving knocks it down. Whether you're a Laker fan, and there are Laker fans throughout the country or not, and just the charisma and the dynamic way he played night in and night out. James steps back, puts up a three, got it! With two tenths of a second remaining. And this equals the largest lead of the game. You also look at Toronto, only two games back right now of Cleveland. The Raptors playing so well and not being talked about that much. And that might have to do with the fact that the Raptors last two years got knocked out in the first round after good regular season. So they have to prove themselves in the playoffs. But man, oh man, are they proving themselves in the regular season right now. Well, very well coached by Dwayne Casey. And talking about that backcourt of Lowry and DeRozan. Brian knocks down the long ball. There was nobody within 20 feet. It was like, okay, this is your night. Go ahead. Brian, 3 for 11 tonight. Turns it over. Here's James. One man to beat. It's Randall. James goes right at him and lays it up and in with a foul. Randall made the mistake of just trying to bump him a bit. And James just too strong. And the lead is ballooned now to 20. James, there are exceptions, you know. No, I, I, I have a, a legitimate Jeff Van Gundy look about it. James having a good, efficient game. 23 points and 7 assists. Three-pointer for James. And that's got to feel good. He's been really struggling from downtown. Coming into the game recently, he was 3 for his last 27, but he's 2 for 4 from downtown here tonight. World Peace trying to stay in front of James. alley -oop. Nice feed of Thompson with a finish. Brian, nice feed inside the black, and black able to convert. Brian trying to get on track. Hits and a foul. Chance for a four point play. This is perhaps what he did the other night. He was shooting poorly all game and then hit three consecutive threes in Indiana against the Pacers. Lakers trying to make another run. They're fighting back. Irving finds an opening, finds to James on the double team. James inside the Verichow. Great look from LeBron James, who now has a double-double with 26 points, 10 assists.
Ryan, fouled by Irving, and he'll shoot three free throws. A lot of signs. You, know, you don't see a lot of signs anymore, like big homemade signs. I could see you had some, some Mets games, uh, Nick games as a youngster with your sign. Oh, no question. Banner Day, you kidding? <laughs> the chance of Kobe. And it's an eight-point game. This is the closest they've been in the second half. They've trailed by as many as 22. And Brian did not like the call. Call for his second personal. Even the crowd didn't like it. It's unbelievable. You're seeing different feelings and dynamics this year with him on the road. James kicks it out. J.R. Smith, an open look. Knocks down the three. J.R. Smith, his third three-pointer. And it's right back up to 11. As James knocks down the three. And that makes it a 14-point game of under two to play. 29 for LeBron James. It did look bad the way he walked off just holding that left arm limp. It was the left shoulder that he hurt in the playoffs last year. Bryant, the spin move, reverse layup is good. The moves from the crowd. Russell fires away, and that'll do it. Another emotional night. Another tribute night for Kobe Bryant and his former teammate, Teron Liu. As we said at the top, he gets more hugs than shot attempts these days. <laughs> Final score 120 to 111. And as Bryant says goodbye, and the Cavs, meanwhile, have to feel good about Kyrie Irving's 35 points, second straight game of the season high. So everybody lines up. It's the line to say thank you. And he is seeing it almost every single night as he finishes up one of the great careers in sports. There should be some guys lining up for LeBron also. <laughs> well, he'll have this night down the road. For basketball fans' sake, we hope it's not for a long, long time. And Kobe Bryant says thank you to the fans. Meanwhile, LeBron James, 29 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds. And James with Lisa. Thank you, Mike. LeBron, when you hear that, when you see that, how the fans are reacting to Kobe, what do you think? Uh, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, a guy like that has done so much for this league, for the Lakers organization, and for all the fans around the world that have watched him over the last 20 years. Um, that's the reception he should get, and uh, well respected, not only here in Cleveland, not only in Los Angeles, but uh, all over the world. When you guys just embraced here at the end of the game, what did you say to him? What did you say to each uh, other? It's all love, man. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's bittersweet, like I said earlier. You know, but so much respect for that guy. You know, like I said, I grew up watching him and wanting to be like him and studying this game. And, uh, you know, he just told me just now, you know, tell my boys, uh, that he said hello, and uh, I told him to tell them, uh, them his girls that I said hello as well in his family. Uh, you know, this, our fans got a great treat tonight, just seeing one of the greatest ever play the game for the last time here, and uh, our fans paid their respect.